Uh, I got a call from my uncle in the morning, uh, the day that it happened, and then we turned on the news, saw saw the pictures of the building. At first, we were a little hopeful because of the angle that the pictures were shown. It looked like her unit was still attached. Uh, when the video of the collapse actually came out, that's that's when we lost hope because that's her, her unit was in the tower that first went down. Tell me, where was your mom, your grandmother, at the time of the building collapsed? They were they were in the in their unit. Um, I'm sure sleep in their beds when when it collapsed. Um, they were just the the tower went down. How are you feeling right now? It's been more than 36 hours and no one has been rescued alive. We're, we're completely devastated. Um, like as I mentioned, for, for us, hope kind of went out as soon as we saw the video because her tower went down and the other tower fell on top of it. So we, so we have official word. We're still trying to hold on to whatever hope remains, but realistically, we, we know that they're gone. Uh, we found out about the DNA from a reporter, so we came down here to be able to provide it. Um, and it was a bit chaotic to, to be able to give the sample. Finally, we were able to give the sample, but all, all they did was take a missing person report and then get, our, our, get the sample to, to be able to tie with it. Pablo, what can you tell me about your mom and your grandmother? They, they were very passionate. They loved life. Family was the number one thing for both of them. Um, and I think that's the hardest thing to deal with is we were very close. Um, personally, for me, it's, it's my son. That's, that's the hardest part. He's six, and he had a very close relationship with both of them. And they were supposed to go pick him up that day that, that it happened to go take him to lunch, to buy him a new bicycle. Um, and this weekend, they were going over. They've been going over to see him every single Saturday since he was born, basically. So at times, it's... Uh, it's complete devastation and then you know there's periods of disbelief where you get a little calm just saying well this didn't happen it's impossible it's it's surreal it's a nightmare, it's, it's a nightmare. buildings don't collapse they don't fall um, by themselves you know it, so that part is, is very frustrating and then it's it also it's a bit angering because the building was under investigation it was under inspections uh, there was remodeling being done so for the building to be at a point where it just collapses on itself without anybody knowing anything about it is very it, it, that's the part that angers me because somebody needed to know something it, building again building doesn't just fall